Hello everyone. Hope you've all had a joyful and fun-filled Easter. In Psalm 118 verse 6 we are told that the Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Some years ago I was at a prayer meeting and the leader did this reflection. It really struck a note with me and I thought I would like to share it with you. It says, firstly, we must be willing to take a risk. Yes, you might be hurt or embarrassed, but so what? To overcome insecurity, which so many of us experience, and to gain confidence, which so many of us lack, you must allow yourself the freedom to take a chance. Now, I'm no risk taker. It suggests, start writing that book that's within us all. Take music lessons. How I wish that I had stuck with mine. Stand up and speak at the meeting. I sometimes choke on the words I want to say at meetings, but I never say them. Feel the fear and do it anyway. This became my mantra after hearing it said. And for quite a while, everything that made me anxious or um, disturbed me, I used to think to myself, feel the fear and do it anyway. It takes a lot of courage. Fear of man will prove to be a snare but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. That's Proverbs 29, verse 25. Then it says, secondly, we have to learn to laugh at ourselves. Get over your obsessive need for approval and acceptance. That's me to a T. And learn to laugh at your mistakes. We're all human. Stop taking yourself so seriously. When you make a mistake, be the first to see the funny side and you'll find people are more supportive than you think, especially if you have owned the mistake and not tried to hide it. Thirdly, start thinking realistically. It's time to drop the security blanket and realise that it's not all about you. You are not the centre of the universe. This was particularly hard for me as I was with my grandparents a lot when I was little and they treated me as if I was the centre of the universe and I believed them. <laughs> Remember that your little faux pas don't mean that much in the general and bigger scheme of things. Besides, mistakes are often better teachers than success. Who hasn't learnt better from a mistake they've made never to make that same mistake again? Me. <laughs> Fourthly, Reward yourself for small victories. When you complete a project, reward yourself. When you take advice or correction without retaliating, reward yourself. When people make remarks that you feel are unfair or unjustified and you don't lose your temper, reward yourself. Often the people we lash out at are those trying the hardest to help us. Get used to the idea that you are valuable, talented and skilled and that your worth in God's eyes is inestimable. Can't say that word. Stop scrutinising yourself through distorted lenses and start seeing yourself through 2020 vision. 
Once you can do that, your fears will be replaced by confidence in yourself and in your future. I would never say it's easy, but when I first heard all this said, it so resonated with me and who I am that although I am still a work in progress, I try to remember that when I fear the f- feel the fear, I am enabled, equipped, empowered and encouraged by the Holy Spirit to do it anyway. Let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for those wise words that put how we are into perspective and that we are enabled to see ourselves through your eyes and not through the eyes of the world. Give us the strength that when we are full of fear, we can lift up our eyes to the hills and do it anyway. Thank you that we know your presence with us at all times. These things we ask in your precious, precious name, Lord. Amen. Good day. Have a nice day.